today we are going to discuss the heart whatever the introduction of the heart is the you have to mention the the heart word that is derived from the greek and latin words so you have to mention the whatever the according to the greek word you are going to get the greek and latin word that is a cardiac and coronary so in the introduction of the heart you have to explain the heart is a hollow muscular organ as you know the cardiac muscles are specially uh, made up of the making the heart so you are going to explain the definition of the heart is it is a hollow muscular organ situated in the middle mediastinum so it is a one of the major content of the middle mediastinum then holding the anatomical position of the heart you have to hold like this way in the anatomical position as you are going to get the two third will be lying on the left side and one third on the right side behind the body of the sternum and costal cartilages so in the introduction of the heart heart is a hollow muscular organ situated in the middle mediastinum and it is a covered by the pericardium covering of the heart is called as pericardium and in this this hollow muscular organ is made up of the muscles special type of muscles known as a, that is a cardiac muscles and these cardiac muscles are the special because they are not classified under the skeletal and smooth muscle they are separately made up of the cardiac that is making the heart because their contractivity and uh, conducting the um, impulses that special type of muscles are found in the heart those we call as in a cardiac muscles next as you see the total heart in this way holding anatomical positions uh, little obliquely one third so we are going to get the two third will be the on the left side and we are going to get the one one third will be the we are going to get in the right side so in anteriorly we are going to get the sternum which is and costal cartilage is behind that obliquely it is lying the in the middle mediastinum so this is all about the introduction of the heart then going to the uh, what are the measurements your total measurements you are going to get the 12 into 9 cm major length will be the 12 cm 9 cm will even your breadth also you are going to get the 6 to 4 cm that you have to remember then weight of the heart will be the 300 grams in male and 250 grams in the females going to the external features of the heart when you go to the heart heart is having the four chambers so in this you have to mention the four chambers of the heart which are we are going to get the two atrium and two ventricle here you have to mention the first one this is almost all the right atrium right ventricle and this is the left ventricle and we have the left atrium so you have the two chambers atrium right atrium then we have the left atrium then we have the right ventricle and this is the left ventricle so left ventricle you have to mention this is the left ventricle this is the right ventricle area this is the right atrium and posterior most chamber is we are going to have the left atrium so these are the four chambers which are we are going to get in the heart so external features of the heart when you see the external features as it is a conical in shape it is having the we have the apex this is the apex which is directed downwards and towards the left side and this is formed by the that is the left ventricle apex of the heart is formed by the left ventricle that is uh, directed downwards towards the left at the fifth intercostal space and 9 cm from the sternal line so you are going to get fifth intercostal space 9 cm distance from the sternum and uh, made up of the left ventricle that is we call as an apex of the heart the next external feature is a base going to the posterior aspect when you go to the posterior side of the heart you are going to get this is a base of the heart base is not this one this is a diaphragmatic surface inferiorly there other organs we have the base but here heart diaphragmatic surface is not called as an that is a base base is on posteriorly it is resting on here and base is formed by the left atrium 
apex is formed by the left ventricle base is formed by the we are going to get the that is a left atrium forming the base of the heart so here four pulmonary uh, veins opening superior inferior pulmonary vein and this will be the left atrium chamber posterior aspect and we are going to call as in a base of the heart so we have in the external features we have come the, come across the apex of the heart and the base of the heart next going to the other external features in the heart we are going to get the four borders of the heart we have the four borders in this superior border and this is the inferior border this is the right border and this is the left border so we have the left border inferior border right border and here we call it the superior border of the heart so surface is three surfaces we call it the anterior surface or the sternocostal surface and we are going to get the inferior or diaphragmatic surface and this is a left surface so left surface inferior or diaphragmatic surface or the anterior or sternocostal surface this anterior or sternocostal surface is formed by the right atrium right ventricle left ventricle so these will, these chambers of the heart will form the anterior or sternocostal surface of the heart going to the left side left surface left surface is almost all formed by the we are going to get the including the that is a totally left ventricle that is the left ventricle forms the left border inferior border almost all forms the it is by the left ventricle and we get the right ventricle so right ventricle area is this much and this is the left ventricle area is this much so that right ventricle left ventricle and forming the inferior border of the heart then right border of the heart right border of the heart is formed by the right atrium so you are going to get the right atrium forming the right border and upper border which is forms the right atrium and we have the origin of the pulmonary trunk and aorta and you have the part of the ventricle so that upper border or superior border inferior border we have the right border and which is the left border four borders of the heart then i have told the surfaces sternocostal three surfaces sternocostal or anterior surface sternocostal because behind the body of the sternum and costal cartilage lying that we call as a sternocostal surface then left surface i have told left ventricle so we have come across in the external features of the heart heart is formed by the that is having the apex we are going to get at the left ventricle apex and the base on the posteriorly which is the we get as a this is a base which is a form by the left atrium next going to the borders upper border lower border right border left border surfaces sternocostal diaphragmatic or inferior left left surface so these are the three surfaces three or four borders then we have the apex and base these are the external features of the heart going to the uh, each one uh, atrium it is consist of the one small projection like growth like structure on the right atrium this we call as in a right auricle this is a right auricle and on the left we have the left auricle this is a left auricle and right auricle so right auricle what is the function of the auricle auricles are different atriums are different and ventricles are different these are the auricles are the appendages or the projections like on the situated on the atriums right atrium right auricle left atrium left auricle so when you see the functions of the auricle is this will interrupt the free flow of blood means interior of the auricle it consists of the that is uh, we have the sponge like structure the rough surfaces when blood flow through that the small clots are dissolved so that they interrupt the free flow of blood what is the function of auricle means you have to tell the auricles are prevent the free flow of blood because interiorly they are consisting the muscular pectinity that making the rough surface and the blood when passes with this rough surface they the small clots are dissolved so that functions of auricle this is a right auricle this is a left auricle function is that is they prevent the free flow of blood so that small clots can be dissolved then on the anteriorly we have the 
atriums and ventricles are separated by the atrioventricular sulcus the atrium right atrium right ventricle they are separated by the atrioventricular sulcus uh, right ventricle left ventricle separated or separated by the that is the interventricular sulcus so interventricular sulcus uh, atrioventricular sulcus we are going to get the again interventricular here we are going to get then on the atrioventricular interatrial sulcus two atrium right atrium and left atrium separated interatrial sulcus we are going to have and uh, we have the left ventricle and the right ventricle inter that is we are going to get the interventricular sulcus interventricular sulcus we have the interatrial sulcus posteriorly then we have the atrioventricular sulcus atrium to the ventricular sulcus these are the we are going to get so we have the coronary artery traveling in the particular area of the heart right coronary artery and left coronary artery travels in the in the particular group right atrioventricular group we are going to get the right branch of that is the right coronary artery we are going to get the branches of the left coronary artery on the interventricular uh, sulcus so these are the you have to remember the grooves on the surface of the heart are the interatrial sulcus in between the two atria right and left then interventricular sulcus we have that is in between the right and left ventricle then in uh, atrioventricular sulcus is separating the atrium to the ventricle so this is all you have to remember in the sulcus of the heart and even i have told the projections auricles of the heart next going to the each chamber when you go that is a uh, when you are going to see this is a uh, one which is a uh, arch of aorta you are going to get the ascending aorta arch of aorta and descending aorta this is what you are when you see the heart in the position this uh, ascending aorta arising from the left ventricle left ventricle arises that is aorta aorta forming the ascending aorta arch of aorta descending aorta then this arch of aorta giving the three branches this uh, three branches are very important to know right brachiocephalic left common carotid and left subclavian artery so here heart is a, that is a arch of the aorta is giving the three branches we have the right brachiocephalic left common carotid and left subclavian artery so these are the three branches which are very important to remember in the that is a blood supply to the head neck face brain so that these arteries are very important branches of the arch of aorta and ascending aorta giving the two branches that is a right coronary artery and left coronary artery so right coronary artery which is a right side or right part of the heart is supply left coronary artery in generally left part of the heart is supply so right and left coronary artery are the branches of the ascending aorta so we have the ascending aorta gives two branches right coronary and left coronary artery arch of aorta giving three branches right brachiocephalic left common carotid left subclavian artery so these are the branches this is a pulmonary trunk which is arising from the we get the right ventricle and this pulmonary trunk which is uh, divides into a right and left pulmonary arteries so we have the right and left pulmonary artery going the deoxygenated blood to the lung and oxygenated blood is brought to the pulmonary veins which is our openings into the that is oxygenated blood from the lung opens and brought to the left atrium so this is a you have to remember in the all the uh, parts and the uh, uh, branches of the arising vessels of the heart that is i have told the uh, pulmonary trunk right and left pulmonary trunk pulmonary artery this uh, aorta uh, ascending aorta arch of aorta descending aorta then i have told the here you have the this is a superior vena cava going into the right atrium you can open into the right atrium here coming superior vena cava and this is a opening of the inferior vena cava so you have the inferior vena cava superior vena cava then i have told the aorta and this is a pulmonary trunk and these are the four pulmonary veins opening into the left atrium so these are the external features and all the you have to remember about the uh, remember remembering about the heart so going to the chamber when we discuss